Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh-huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com Got it, uh, they got uh, the hottest bloggers Is Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first mm. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest yeah, Go yeah. check out the art even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. I'm out, but real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. Real fans, real talk. What's going on? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. It's actually our first time being back live in 2018, so it feels so good. Happy New Year to everybody since we haven't been with you guys uh, since since last year. Uh, but it, it's, it's been a lot going on in these past couple of weeks in the sports world. All-Star Weekend is coming up. Super Bowl Sunday is coming up. We got a whole lot going on. Plus, we got we got some guests coming in today that they're going to they gonna get real fiery with y'all. But uh, before we jump into that, let me introduce my co-host, the one and only Mark the Statman Skevich. What's up, man? Uh, great to be back for another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. I hope everyone out there enjoyed their holidays. I'm sure they missed us. Uh, we definitely miss doing the show. Uh, I wasn't here the last time you were on the air, and Santa Claus was here. That's true. That's and, you true. know, there's these conspiracy theories going out there that I'm actually dressing up as Santa, and I want to prove them wrong, but then I got stuck in traffic. Yeah. And it seems every year I try to prove people wrong that I'm not dressing hey, as Santa what? Claus. You know what, it's that, man, I... You know, it's funny you say that because my nephew actually kind of told me that. So he said, is that Statman? And I said, nah, man, that's Santa Claus. So I had to, you know, we had to go back and forth with that. But, I, you know, I finally convinced him that it wasn't, you know, you just had to call trouble and whatnot. I know Santa has a belly and I have a belly, so I'm a little bit offended that people, you know, they just that... just because I'm fat, I'm Santa Claus. Yeah, like, I... where are they getting this from? Like... You know what? I can't call it on that one, Statman. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we got a whole lot of sports to get into. It's a whole new year. We'll, we'll have that discussion next uh, Christmas but uh <laughs> that's profiling <laughs> that is you know what you're absolutely right statement that is profiling um but uh we got the super bowl coming up and um i just I, I did get the word you know we are gonna have an official real fans real talk uh super bowl party is going is going down in brooklyn it's going to be catered by chef b um she's gonna be holding us down she got wings uh sliders she got a whole bunch of alcoholic beverages, you know, she's provided. So we're going we're gonna to go over there. We're going to turn up. You know, we ain't going to mess up the crib like in House Party because, um, you know, Chef B is opening her home to us. Where's that? So, uh, it's, it's listen, you listen, all right, just worry about the Eagles losing. They want to know. I just got some questions. They want to know. That, I'm guys, not sure if this is open to the public. <laughs> <laughs> this is her house. Like. Yeah. Come on. We can't just put it all out there like that at one time. We'll, all right, my bad. We'll talk about it next week's show if we're, we're, we're going to open it up like that to the to Directly. Cliff is a little uh, extra excited over here because his team happens to be in the Super Bowl, yeah. unfortunately. And I said halfway through the season, as horrible as the season is going, with all the drama going on surrounding the NFL and the Giants losing, getting the second worst record in the league, you got to top off one of the crappiest seasons in NFL history <laughs> with an Eagle Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I predicted this halfway in the season. I'm hoping, you know, we we got a fan mail question. And we're gonna get to the fan mail question in a second, but I'm hoping that this isn't the case. Like, well, Statman, I know for you, see, for me, it's not that bad because you know Tom Brady is my favorite quarterback. So for me, it's fine. But for you, I know you're going through some issues because you hate the Eagles. You also hate Tom Brady and the Patriots. Well, we, we got a, a fan mail question. <laughs> I, I believe it was from uh, John from Brooklyn. He asked, um, Statman, you you hate the Eagles and you hate the Patriots. Who, who would you want to, to win? Now, I want to clarify something here. I don't. I definitely hate the Eagles. Well, we there's, know that. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. I don't necessarily hate the Patriots. Just because the Giants beat the Patriots 
and they were they were playing them in the Super Bowl two years. The Giants won. It's not like the Patriots beat the Giants, and I'm, I have a hatred towards the Patriots. The Giants won. I got no reason to hate them. There's no real <laughs> rivalry there because we're, we're so on you, the winning end. So you're pulling for the Patriots then. Oh, 100%. Oh, and right. the, only, the only reason I why I even... I didn't for the Eagles, but, you know, I just wanted to be... And I know the, the fans Eagles probably the thought about I it. The Eagles the I hate the most yeah. in the NFL. Yeah. And then on top of that, I don't want to hear Cliff or other Eagles fans in our circle. So you hate us more than the Cowboys? Definitely. How? Well, I mean, if, if, I terrible. just do. Listen, all right, the, 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 the Cowgirls had, had Deion Sanders, man. They had Neon Dion, man. Yeah, I mean, the 90s <laughs> Cowgirls were tolerable, yeah, so to speak. So. Yeah, well, listen, um, Cliff, the, the Ravens do have uh, Super Bowl championships. The Eagles uh, do not currently, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I need to check the numbers on that, but I don't think the Eagles have ever won a Super Bowl. They've been to the Super Bowl before, and they lost and they to the lose? Patriots. To the same quarterback they about to go against uh, Basically, yes. in, in, a, in a little bit over a week, correct? That is one. 100 percent accurate okay I, you know, I just wanted to uh to know that um but the, the only reason i was just gonna say the only reason why i somewhat hated the patriots is because of all the talk surrounding tom brady and him being the greatest and a little bit of hatred towards him because he always had you know he had belichick he had you know a great offensive line he had all the you know a good, sometimes a good defense sometimes good receivers good tight ends and sometimes all of the above yeah. helping him out but there's no denying it. I mean, he's 40 years old, and I was just talking about this offset. With his diet, he'll probably still be playing well at age 45, the way he's, Listen, the way he's going. Like, he, so you gotta, you got to give props to him and his commitment and his competitiveness. And I'm definitely rooting for the <laughs> Patriots to beat the Eagles. No I, question about I, I that. I would have to agree with you on that. Now, the Patriots, they, they did take a, a, a small loss uh, in, the, in the championship game. Gronkowski went out with a, with a concussion. But fortunately, you get that extra weekend between the Super Bowl and the championship round of, of the playoffs. So he, he'll, be, he'll be good to go. But, I mean, you know, with, with a concussion, especially with Rob Gronkowski, you can mm -hmm. never be too sure. But I don't think anything is going to keep Gronkowski from playing. And, um, well, you know. the, the Pats seem pretty confident, and you know, in the recent days that the, you know Gronk is going to be able to play. And last year they won the Super Bowl without him. Yeah. And I, I pretty much predicted the Pats to go back to the Super Bowl this year, as most people did, because really there's not that much competition in the AFC. You had the Steelers, who you know they have a great uh, offense with the Triple Bs. The Jaguars ended up beating them just like they beat them in the regular season. So it's a game of matchups. The Jaguars were a really good team this year. And I think they could have beaten the Patriots uh, the, the, some coaching decisions. I think the Jags lost the game in the first half. You know, they, they, they were up 14-3. to, to three. Uh, they, they had um, Blake Bortles had a, 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 a full start which kind of screwed them up. They were trying to rush to the to get the playoff because they didn't want a red flag thrown to challenge a catch, which was a catch. And they ended up shooting themselves in the foot because instead of being in field goal range, they ended up giving the ball back to Tom Brady. Tom Brady uh, goes, there's a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision, which, you know, ended up screwing them on the penalty. Then a big pass interference call. And, uh, you know, a couple of penalties there on that drive. And that was that was a huge drive, which completely changed the momentum. And the helmet-to-helmet -helmet thing, I've said this before and I'll say it again, it is the stupidest penalty in the league because you can see the, 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 the guy on defense was hurt just as bad on that helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision. As somebody that played defense and tackled, you are getting down, you are trying your best to hit them with the shoulder. But it's not always planned when two people are moving. One is trying to avoid and one is trying to tackle. Sometimes you're going to, if the idea of tackling is you get down to tackle your opponent. You're not trying to hit them with your helmet. Sometimes that happens. It's not something that... The game's too fast. Yeah, the game's too fast. The defensive player does, I do not want a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision on defense because it hurts you just as much. There's not been a single time playing defense in high school or semi-pro where I wanted to hit somebody with my helmet because yeah. it hurts me too. Like, it may, I'd much rather hit you with my shoulder. So it's the stupidest penalty ever invented, and I, I get it, and that was a game-changing drive for them. And then on top of that, Jags get the ball back, 55 seconds to go. 
they have a timeout. Blake Bortles is playing fairly well in the first half, and the coach has no faith in him. They run the ball and they give the they well, uh, take it to halftime. What happened was, and they were talking about this after the game, was the offensive coordinator for Jacksonville came in to uh, the championship game with about 30 plays in the playbook. That's the worst possible thing that you could do against Bill Belichick. Yeah. Is to only have 30 plays in, I mean, we're, we're talking about maybe 60 to, to 75 snaps that you're going to have on offense. So by the time you get into the middle of the third quarter, you didn't ran every play you got two, three times already. So, I mean, do you not expect Bill Belichick to start breaking that down and, and change the, the flow of the game? And, and that's what happened. And then, I mean, of course, you got that Brady magic, uh, you know, on the offensive side but of also, football. As a coach in the first half, when there's 55 seconds to go, your quarterback is playing well, you're not buried deep in field position. They're on their own 20-something. Yeah. You have enough time to drive. The, you're, they're worried about giving the ball back to Tom Brady. You take two plays. If it doesn't happen, you run the ball. Patriots burn their last time out. If yeah. it goes to Tom Brady, he's got 30 seconds to go you know, 80 yards or whatever, 50 yards for field goal position against one of the top defenses in the NFL. You're not trusting your team, and you're basically showing that you're scared of the Patriots. So, I mean, that's the momentum going into halftime. They're a scary team in playoffs at Foxborough. I don't know, man. I think the Jags could have won. So, I mean, I I was still predicting the Patriots, but... It's it's possible, but it's in the books now. And, of course, uh, we saw what happened with the Eagles. I mean, they just completely... Dominated the Vikings. A little little bit of a shocker because they were the underdog even though they were home. Yeah, but... That was that was just horrible. No, the they, Vikings have a good defense too, but yeah, th- I mean those are the three top top three defenses <laughs> between the Vikings, the Eagles, and and uh, Jacksonville. And I don't know what happened with Minnesota, but uh, you know Diggs was pretty much non-existent. The running game wasn't there. The Eagles just did whatever they wanted. So you know they did move on, and and unfortunately. You know, we got to deal with Cliff for, for one more week. Unfortunately. Well, two <laughs> a week and a half. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's rough when your technical the, director is an Eagles fan and uh, they continue to uh, to win. The, but The weird thing is, I'm not sure if this has ever <laughs> yeah. happened, but I, no one was really talking about it, but the NFC Championship consisted of a second-string quarterback against a third-string quarterback. You see what I'm saying? This is why we don't, we don't you know, Cliff. This is why um, when we come back after the Super Bowl, we will be burning the Eagles jersey right here on the set because you do things like this while we're on air. Nobody want to see this Eagles video. If you were going to play a video about the Eagles, you should have played the guy on running for the train that smashed into the into the. You wall might actually have your mic muted at this point so people can <laughs> see this too. But I mean, it's just ridiculous. The Eagles, man, they they like they have not won anything. All right, we fly right into second place exactly. as the losing team in the Super Bowl that that's nobody what, remembers. That's what's going to make it best. I think that's going to be the best part about it is that they make it all the way to the end just to lose. I think that's what's going to be just that the much best more part of for for Cliff and more satisfying yeah, to all the Eagles. I think that will there. be that will be the best thing possible. Um, again, myself, I'm taking the Patriots. Statman is taking the Patriots. You know, and uh, of course we're going to be rocking out with. Chef I'm definitely B rooting for, for them, the but I, as far as is like last year I made some money on the Patriots. Yeah. I'm not gambling this year. Yeah, don't because when you gamble not, during the games, it usually goes the opposite way. You, I, I made moments. good money off of the Patriots last Listen, year. Yeah, well, I'm not betting no, on you know what, that's actually when you only bet on when you bet on your team. I only bet yeah. I only bet the Super <laughs> that's Bowl, and that's really it. it. And All you right. know, but this year I'm not even doing that. This year All right. It's not happening. Oh wait! Oh, there we go. I think I think uh, Cliff is put. There we go, right there. They had another angle too, Cliff, with the guy crashing into the wall. That I think is going to sum up the Eagles' season, right there. Yep. That video, right there, is going to sum up the Eagles' uh, season. That guy running into the into the uh, to the wall, right there, or to the pillar on the train. But um, we looking forward to the Super Bowl. It's it's going to be the end of football season coming up. I don't think anybody really cares about the Pro Bowl. So uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I still don't know what they're going to do with that. I mean, they've been trying to do something with the Pro Bowl. They tried moving it, you know, years ago they moved it to before the Super Bowl, which I thought was stupid because then you don't have the the Pro Bowl players that are in the Super Bowl are obviously not going to yeah. play in it. So it makes absolutely no sense for them to do that. But you do have uh, the NBA All-Star Game changing things up with uh, captains, mm-hmm. the top leading vote-getters of the East and West. Steph Curry and LeBron James will be the captains, yes. and they will be, uh, you know, doing it uh, schoolyard style, picking uh, 
Let me just tell you this right now. LeBron, LeBron yo, cheated. Yo, Cliff is just crazy with these Eagles Well, he likes to see his fans get knocked and... out. So, it's, I mean, it's okay. I'm, I'm actually for this video. But if that's you, the one you wanted to see. That's the one I did want to see with the Eagles fan making a fool of himself, as, you know, they usually do, running into the, <laughs> the crash. I mean, that was <sighs> that was just beautiful. That, I tell you, that's going to sum up the season. But um, LeBron, nice real LeBron definitely, he cheated this with his picks in the, in the uh, All-Star <laughs> game. So if you guys don't know, uh, LeBron James starting five is officially going to be him. Kevin Durant, DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, and Kyrie Irving. Uh, he also has uh, Rus Russell Westbrook and Porzingis on the bench. Uh, he has Aldridge and uh, Kevin Love. So I, I think this is probably going to be one of the biggest uh, blowouts in All-Star Game mm -hmm. history. I don't know what Steph was thinking with the with the picks that, that he made, but you know, being a LeBron fan, I'm, I'm happy about the decision. I can't wait to see this thing go down. I'm, I'm not sure how it worked out that way either, but... <laughs> Listen. I mean, it is the All-Star game. People don't necessarily play defense, so, I mean, it could just be, you know... Not, I mean, it's going to be... <laughs> it's it's going to be LeBron's team, unfortunately. Yeah, that, that like... That. Just, just the starting five just, just look crazy for each one of those uh, teams right now. But LeBron definitely said he was coming to win. He said he's not playing around, and he made that clear with the with the people that he picked to, to play on his team. I, I do love the the new format because it actually does make it a little bit more interesting. Because I mean, the last couple of years, like the West has just been crazy as far as with the talent. And then we saw again with. I mean, you had Melo going to the to the West, Paul George going to the West, Jimmy Butler going to the West, uh, Paul Millsap, Jeff Teague. So we, there was five All Stars that went from the Eastern Conference to the Western Conference this year. So it was just gonna be crazy. But I mean, I I thought it would have been a little bit more even doing it this way with the picks. But you know, I don't I don't know how how LeBron made that happen. But I, you know, I'm looking forward to watching the uh, the All Star game. Definitely. I said I wouldn't be gambling on the Super Bowl, but the NBA is trying to implement gambling into their uh, arenas with people having access to bet uh, on the fly with on free throws on the game itself. And the NBA is looking to get 1% of the gambling revenue. What do you think of that? Uh, well, 1% is still a hell of a lot of money. So. Oh, well, I mean, you can't take, they can't take too much out yeah. of it because, you know, you have a line and everything, and there's, there's a profit mark, you know. Yeah. The it, profit isn't really. I mean, it, I like it. More money, more money, more, more money. Now, I mean, is this going to be a problem if the players start gambling on, you know, too? Because then. Well, I'm pretty little, sure that's not going to be uh, that's not going to be allowed. But I mean, well, could they bet on other games though? They're they're if they're not actually playing in the games, can they bet? Then it gets kind of. I mean, that's good. Tricky. That's a good possibility. The other thing is, Utah is a state that doesn't allow gambling of any kind, and they do have a an NBA franchise in the Utah Jazz. So well, games played in Utah probably wouldn't allow that. You're not going to well, change the state legislator with that. I'm not sure if any of that is going to pass, but. Um, also, Vince McMahon is trying to bring back the XFL. It's happening in 2020. I'll tell you one thing um, as far as this goes. I don't know what was going to go down. I don't think it's going to last um, again. But at least I will say I was happy, you know, for about five minutes at uh, Raw 25. We just have another day. In the, and I thought it was the best moment of the night was when Stone Cold came out and stunned Shane McMahon and stunned Vince McMahon. I thought that was the highlight of Raw 25. So I'm actually happy about that. But as far as the XFL goes, I mean, listen, if you try and get more money, he got enough. But well, the timing isn't very good because people are starting to get sick of football. I yeah. Mean, when you talk about helmet to helmet collisions, the. the Instead of the coin toss, you were, I don't know if you remember the original XFL, you know, 20 yeah. years ago, whatever it was, that's supposed to battle for the ball, which resulted in a lot of helmet-to-helmet yeah. helmet collisions so it, and more injuries on that so-called coin toss than in the actual games. Yeah. But I'm not sure what he's planning for, but he's supposed to say it's not political. Everybody's going to be forced to stand and everything. Yeah. This is supposed to happen in 2020. But we, we, we shall see. But we, we, and, and with this new football league, in accordance with the other football league, plus the NFL, uh, the, you know, uh, the NBA, the NHL, MLB, the big three, LeVar Ball starting up uh, his league. There's a lot going on with sports. And, um, you know, so so we, we bought some, 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 some group of, of women who want to have a discussion with myself and the stat man about whether or not uh, sports ruin relationships. 
It so, should be an interesting conversation. It, I think I I think uh, it it will be, um, and you know, Cliff, we're gonna give you a pass on this one since the Eagles made Super Bowl. We're gonna let you pick the video that you want to play so we can bring uh, the, the the ladies of war, which is uh, women articulating realness, so they can come on the set and get set up. We're gonna let you pick your video. It's the only time this is gonna happen, Cliff. Okay, you're lucky the Eagles made it to Super Bowl. We're gonna give you this one. So you let us know when you're ready so we can bring the ladies out, and then we're going to chop it up. Can one of you tell them that we don't see anything? Real fans, real talk, and that's the way it's going down. Don't go nowhere. Fix your face. They ain't going nowhere. Ha! RealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh. What's going on everyone? This is Legend of Two Games Reverend for Real Fans Real Talk I had to come check my people over there at Sound of Liquors, man You should do the same Passion Tequila is the flavor of the month Come through, drop a Real Fans Real Talk man. You get a discount on it, man Make sure you're tuning in every Thursday nights Come through, tell them Legend of Two Games sent you. Alright, welcome back. First of all, shout out to uh, Soundview Liquors. We didn't have the bar today because we didn't want, you know, we didn't know how y'all got with the, if we'd had the bar out and y'all to start drinking and talking sports, we didn't want to just let it get too crazy in here. So we didn't have the bar this week. When y'all come back next time, if we think y'all can handle it, then we'll bring the bar out and we'll have the bar out for y'all. <laughs> But uh, y'all took the ball away because y'all didn't think we, could we didn't know. I didn't know. Listen, we didn't know if y'all started drinking. How you know how y'all would have went? So all right, listen. I know. The next time, you know, we will we will add the bar. We, listen, this ain't gonna be the last time y'all come. So we'll make sure the bar is back. Shout out to us, uh, Soundview Liquors. Um, they you know they've been holding us down for a couple of months now. They still got that that uh that passion to kill us. So y'all know if y'all dropped the real fans, real talk name, y'all go up in there, you get a little bit of a discount on that. Um, so definitely go see them there up in the Bronx. But uh, now we are about to go to war with the ladies of war. That's All right, right. number four right. to two. We are out number. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Eric, where Don't you at? Nervous. Eric, Don't get I, no, I'm nervous <laughs> now. I'm nervous because I feel like y'all trying to jump us now. Oh wow! All right, First now. We're going to get with the alcohol. Now we're trying to. That's jump. why we didn't have it here because one listen. Image of us already, we, huh? No, <laughs> listen. Cool, huh? Once we looked up and saw we was out now, but I said, nah, Statman, cancel the ball this week because <laughs> it might go down. I don't want Wait, no parts of this. Passion? Is that the camera on? Yeah, that's the, that's the camera oh, on uh, Tequila. Oh, that's um, the plug, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so they, uh, they, they, they give us a new flavor every month, and uh, whenever the, the, the people go in there and they just mention real fans, real talk, they get a discount. But you got to go you gotta go to the Bronx, though. It's in the Bronx. They, they're not delivering all the way, all throughout the city or none of that. Well, you know what? I ain't going to say that. If you order enough they will deliver it to yeah, you. Right. but you guys spend you guys spend enough you go on for it. your super bowl party exactly yeah, yeah that's what Thank you. that's the, that is where mm -hmm. you need to go because they got they got some good deals and y'all know they gave away the, the big industrial strength size bottle of rose uh yeah, for new yeah, years wow. they always have giveaways and raffles so shout out to my man brian over there at uh sound view and, and and everybody over there brian we coming for, for you hey brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, well, brian i got the ladies of war for you today. what's up they're gonna be knocking at the window Absolutely. let them in Absolutely. All right, but no, but, but we're we going to get into this because Miss Aurora, she hit me up, and she said, listen, you know, I got the girls, 
and uh, they want to come out and they, they want to talk about sports ruining relationships. And I said, you know, I don't know if sports ruins relationships, but I guess I can't say because I'm speaking from a man's perspective. <laughs> I would think it, it wouldn't. You know, I would think more if, you know, 2K or something like that might ruin relationships or Madden, <laughs> the video games might, but I can see, you know, so I'm going to let, let you ladies, whoever, whichever, first of all, introduce, introduce yourselves. yourselves first. My name is Aisha. I'm Aurora. I'm Glam. I'm Isha. Okay. And we are all the ladies of war. Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Real Fans Real Talk, ladies. Thank you for uh, having us. We appreciate yeah, y'all you coming us. out. And and we've, been, we've been trying to make it happen, but we had issues with the weather in the mm -hmm. studio, but we finally got it done. And uh, so, so ladies, y'all tell us what's, what's, what's y'all issue. What y'all, what's going on, man? Where, why do y'all have an issue with men in sports? Go ahead, Glam. Let's be honest. What if you're a woman that does not know what's going on? Like me. Like me. Right. Like, <laughs> when the sports is on, I'm very disrespectful. I'm dancing in front of the screen, just doing all type of stuff to obtain attention. And I get this. And then if I don't move, it gets kind of a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you dance, because why would you be dancing in front of the screen? Exactly. Because that's what you're wrong at. Let me, let, me, let, me say, let me say two things to that right now. Okay? now. I don't know. If you're doing that with a group of people in your house, that's a little, I don't know. No, now, it's only him. It's, okay, so if it's only him, let me, let, me, let me help you out. On the commercial break, that's when you do that. That's when it's time for you to do that. If you want to get a little, you know, quick in the commercial, get your little dance on, boom. When the commercial goes off, you got to get out the way. That's so that's a two it. minute dance? What's a two minute dance? No, that's how no. I just no. club. That's all you get is two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Yeah, because the reason why I'm doing it with sports are on because because my husband is an avid sports fan. But that's that's selfish of you. It never stops. But that's it selfish never because stops. you oh, hold okay. on. All right, he watches every sport. It's baseball, football, and basketball. All right, so you got hockey season? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Hockey and basketball coincide. But it's only, hold on, but, but it's only an hour. This is every day? I am told that um, I got a game at so-and-so. I got yes. a game at so-and-so. And I just am like, okay, you got a game at so-and-so. Your credit card is going to reap the repercussions. Well, then right. there you go. You're still winning. But right. it's going to really ruin That's how you want that quality time with your man. Yeah. It's another argument. Let me ask you a question. What's, your, what, what's your show? What's your favorite show? Sex in the City. Now, do you, you, know, you want him coming and dancing in front of you and carry on the screen? It's really not that serious. If he dance, he ain't going to dance that long, and I'm going to be able to catch up. No, he's going to dance through the whole show. Like, you trying to dance through the whole game. You are not going to want that. But them games are so long, I get tired. You I ain't dancing through the whole game. Sex in the City, what, what, what is it, air once What if y'all watching the movie of Sex in the City? That's, that's an hour and a half. Well, she could probably still but hear she what's going on. Whole but whole if you game. miss a play and she's blocking the screen, it's a little... It just that's, feels like during the seasons of sports... It's no going out to dinner. It's no doing anything. Because oh, what time reservation is? Five o'clock? Five yeah. o'clock? Okay, yeah. we got to be, be back by eight because yes. the baby's coming on. <laughs> <laughs> and Who I'm does that? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me say <laughs> this. No, I mean, if it's okay. every day, I mean, so, there's sports every day. If he's watching it every day and you're not watching, you know, you're not going out or anything, then I, I do agree with that. That's a little well, thank too you. much. But I oh, want to tell so you guys sweet. something. This is what happened. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> I like every day is so Don't get scared. <laughs> I'm not, like, don't get scared. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, mean, I, 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 will say I will say this. Sports may ruin a relationship if the, if the woman is not in tune with sports. Right. See, me, myself, I was, in, I was always into sports, especially when I feel that it was really hot. When I lived, we lived in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So... When the Phoenix Suns had Dan Marley, you know, KJ and, yeah. and Charles Barkley and all that, that's when I felt sports was really good. So I was really into it. Then the Tekken came out with the, on, on PlayStation, and, you know, that was a, a fighting game with sports and stuff. So I was really in tune with it. Yeah. So I was always good with being, but, it would, but for the woman that's not into sports, it, I could see that ruin a relationship. You got the whole season of basketball. You got, you know, you and these are ask, long you seasons. You got to ask questions, though. If you don't understand the game, you got to ask questions. But don't ask questions while the <laughs> game is going on. <laughs> but do they, I, do they ask questions about... And that doesn't ruin my relationship. But do they I ask... I don't know a thing about sports. 
What is, but is 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 the other half into sports? That a little, a little. Well, he's, 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 he's not a diehard sports fan. Yeah, he was no, heavy. Well, let me ask sports. y'all this: do y'all, do y'all play? Do y'all play spades? Yeah. 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 All right, now you know how when you were a kid and your mom at the spades table. Right. Go sit down. Go sit down. Like they, they don't want you up in the spades game asking them all kind of questions while yeah. the game is going mm-hmm. on, right? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with sports. You don't come up while the game. But is you're going not my on mama, so it's not. And the same ask some thing. questions. <laughs> when they and you're not my daddy. You're my man. So give me yeah, attention. Right. Is what they're saying. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Find out the game. It doesn't matter. I'm sure another game is coming back on. Yeah, but you want to see that game in the moment. You Look take at the recaps on ESPN. <laughs> That's what you got to do to get used to the game, and then you'll understand if you watch the recaps. Only? You, you got to take some time out on your end to say, you know what, let me do my homework. Maybe if I look, you know, do my research, read up, go on ESPN, or watch Real Fans, Real Talk, and I can get some it side notes about the game. It ain't that hard to explain game. while the game is going you know? on. Right. I'm going to have to explain it. Oh, see, he's a 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 the drinks for Statman so he can say how you really feel. I, I, took, <laughs> I took a girl to a, a Rangers game and she became a Rangers fan. Cliff, Cliff, the bottles out. Cliff, the bottles out. I'm with Glam, though. I'm with Glam. It don't always work that Why way. Why can't it be DVR? If she wants some because you know, time we, to get... Because we in the social media. See that? You heard that, mm-hmm. that ding go off right there? Mm-hmm. In the social media age, ain't no DVR. Yeah, and then, 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 uh, see the you got to watch it right there in so the moment. So what happened to the quality time? Just turn it off until... You finish your little quality time when then go back. Why well, we can't schedule know. our quality time around uh-huh. the game? Oh. 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 Right now. now we schedule. Cause you, yeah, you got to be on schedule. Sit down and explain the game to the to your lady before it come on, and make her feel a part of it. You know, yeah. and if you're making her feel you a part of what you're doing, you could be watching and be like, oh, well, first and it. ten means is this, but what second like, and move, seven, move. like it's you're a problem. Well, no, I'm but, not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to. All right, let's let's say. All right, we got the Super Bowl coming up, right? That's probably like the biggest game of the year in all sports. That one game. Right mm-hmm. now, I think that's a little bit more because you know it's a lot of people's crowd. If you want to ask questions and whatnot, I think Girls that's, that don't watch sports are into it just for yeah. the commercials. Yeah, right? so that so that that that's more of a time, yeah. you know. But you got to think like, especially like, all right, when you are a a diehard sports fan, especially when it's your team mm-hmm. in the playoffs in the Super Bowl, you're vested in those games. And and a lot of times, what happens is sports fans feel like they can will their teams to win. But if they get distracted <laughs> by any little thing you know and something bad that. happens, mm-hmm. now you're the reason. Now yeah, you're so, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't catch that know. pass, if, if LeBron don't make that three and you just walked in front of the screen, yo, nah, that's it, it's over. Nah. <laughs> now, now, now I'm mad. Right. Now, so when you I love mad, it. Would you stop speaking to your woman and everything? Just like During the game? Not no, after that. If, some, if your team <laughs> lose and she was in here like, baby, baby, I said, um, nah, 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 and you're like, ah! I and mean, you, you, you got to give me a couple You got an attitude after that? You got an attitude You got an attitude, don't you? For a couple minutes. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't, hold on. I don't have, a, the thing is, I don't have an attitude with you. I'm not mad at you. I'm upset that my team lost. Yeah. So it, just give me a minute okay. if I'm, like, you know, like, but all right. But you want to take it out on her. Just because she tapped you and you had to go like this. It's no. not like you could have done anything. But if you had a bad day at work, you'll take it out on your man. Exactly. Like, the same yeah. thing. You're just in a yeah. bad mood. Like, it's... No. So it's Are really you this serious. It, it is. No, yeah, it's a flopper. Yeah, it's a flopper. No, no, 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 it's a flopper. No, you know what it is, too? Y'all gotta, all right, what you got to do is, if That's y'all want to, you got to spice things up. If you, if, you know, if you know your man is a Giants fan, right, and he knows football season, he watching the Giants game, you got you to gotta spice it up. Get your little Giants cheerleader suit I, to, oh, watch I, the, to watch the I've done that before. I'm like, yeah. I can't bid him join him. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I guarantee you. Then you're going to be mad, especially if you have company. I'm try, if you come, if out, if you come like out with a Giants cheerleader suit, your man is not going to be mad. In front of his company. Oh, no, nah, see, that is different. Oh, you said you wanted to be the private dance. Yeah, right. I said it was just her, uh, right. her husband. I'm not, you don't do that in front of a whole group of people. That's just nasty. Oh, right. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I was thinking. But you know, yeah. some women like it when they're occupied because now they have their time. Right. Now they have yeah. their time where they can watch the television, talk on the phone with their friends. Yeah. yeah. So some people, some women do You got to like think, that's, that's, that's your time. You know, y'all could, y'all could be starting a business. Y'all could be researching something. Y'all could do something. You know, y'all could, there's other well, you things. Have the Fun. We That's have to do the business. Hold on, exactly. y'all, y'all have fun things that y'all do. Hold on, I just. Well, you could be watching Sex in the City or whatever. <laughs> 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 you 
Housewives of Louis Metro Spain or whatever. Because it's like you're not going to get a lunch talking about uh, Carrie at, uh, you know, she's just she's down by the road. You're not going to get that. So you can DVR Sex in the City and, and watch that, and, you know, and be good. I think it's more, you know, you just got to, you kind of give and take. Because if I can understand y'all point a little bit more is if it's like, all right, all day, every day is sports and we don't do nothing. We don't go nowhere. No, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I could be like, true. all right. But, you know, there's certain things like, listen, like, you know, just like you have things that you like to do. You don't, do you, do you want your, your, your husband up under you with everything that you do? No. No, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with men. We don't, we, you know, we, we love y'all. Listen, there's one that we love y'all. We, we can't live without y'all. Ladies, let me not, you know, let me shout out my wifey for lifey, Serena, boo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, <laughs> You know, but it. this time where we, where we want to just be comfortable doing what, what we like to do, and sports is a, is a big part of that. You know, I'm gonna give you your time, but while while I'm enjoying my sports, let me get let me get my time, or find a find a way to incorporate yourself without being a nuisance. Oh yeah, because that's what I'm being a nuisance. But you purposely right, you know doing it though. Yeah, I am. No, but you doing it on purpose. See, that's yeah. wrong. That's wrong because you doing it. On what, what 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 is it that you like to do most? What. I don't know. I'm asking you what you like to do most. You feel oh, what do I like to do most? Yeah, what, like your hobby. You don't got no hobbies or nothing. Hanging out with my girlfriend, so he ain't coming anyway. Exactly. Now, if he come up in there and bust up in there, oh, like, I wish he would. Yeah, like you just do it. Put his feet up on the couch, you know, and what? Like, exactly. So you gotta, you gotta be, you know, it's a give and take thing. I mean, this is what everything in relationships is, is give and take. You, you know, if you know your man is a diehard sport, because he might not, because not not all men are diehard sports fans, right. but he and might have something else. Got, excuse me. Some guys use that diehard. Sports fan as a motive to go do other stuff. Oh, it's the Super Bowl game. Mm, <laughs> and they ain't nowhere near. Hold on, hold on. Now, mm. now we're going yeah, someplace else with it. Now we're going someplace else with it. You go looking for your man. He's supposed to be at the Super he, Bowl. But they got game. the game one at the strip club. <laughs> They're <laughs> They're 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 Hooters, right? Right? Yeah, who is right? Yeah. Delicious booty is all in his face. That's not the game. That's booty. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I say get you the Giants uh, cheerleader well, outfit. That's 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 you could be the sexy, you know, girl like that. Who's that? Oh, I'm going to the game. I'm going to the Super Bowl. Right, if you can use any other lie too. That's not what yeah. sports for. Yeah, that's why y'all got to know the game. Don't do your homework. You know. Like I said, you'll know if if your husband say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch the game," but ain't no game on. Then you ain't do your homework to know. Listen, <laughs> baby, hold on. The Nets don't play tonight. Man. This is some <laughs> no, I'm not playing the game. <laughs> I, I love it. Like, you see, I play when so and so did this, and be like, "Yeah, it was cool." It's like, "Yeah, that never happened." Exactly. I watched the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, the game one day, right? right? He's not watching it. He didn't go out. Like no, that's what I'm saying. Like that's how you test him. Like, yeah. Going to that's watch true. the game with his mans in them. He didn't. Like, can't you that. catch you multitask? Yeah, I. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen, but, you might have a, a, you know, you watching the game, you have a wing in your hand, and you might have a thigh beside you. You never right. know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's, we, we both just okay? ask. Is it, is it okay? For, uh, hold on. First, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't lie when I said I was going to watch the game. So, yes, it's okay. <laughs> If I don't, if I tell you, so you watching the game and playing too. No, if I said I'm going to watch the game, I'm going to watch the game. I don't say, I don't necessarily. If you ask me where I'm going, and then I tell you I'm going to Rob's house, but then I want to better strip club. <laughs> that's a little bit different. Yeah. But if I just say, oh, I'm going he out with the fellas going, to watch the game, he's going to watch the game with Rob. If you assume yeah. that it's going to Rob's house, that's on you. So it's okay for you to have a wing and a thigh in your hand while you watching the game. I didn't say in my hand. I said the wing was in my hand. The thighs Serena? on the side of me. Thighs on the side. Okay. Okay. Yes, I love it. I love it. The fact is, you didn't catch me in a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm, I'm right. very clear with what I say when I'm going to do the things that I'm going to do. So as you ain't going to get too many specifics down to the T. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. And, <laughs> and that's that's now, if you mean? ask me, that's that's a little bit different. But I'm so don't ask, don't tell. I'm well, I know I'm not going out to do nothing wrong. Now, if I see some booty in my face while I'm out watching the game. You know, hey, I'm gonna enjoy it, but I know that's where it's but gonna are stop you at. Entertaining it though, right? If you had a strip club, I mean, you can't not entertain because they like force it on you, so you can't. Yeah, but not entertain why it. go to a strip club if you want to watch the game? If you're that big of a sports fan and go you, you want to focus on the game, why go to a strip joint? Well, how that, could that, you? That might how be a real man really focus? That's what might be where the venue was at. I'm not saying me personally. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> clean it up. 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 I don't like eating food at a strip club, so that wouldn't be my first choice of of watching a game someplace because I don't eat food. 
Because I just don't think it's sanitary when you got booty juice <laughs> dripping while you're <laughs> 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 I'm just yeah. not into that. That's not my <laughs> thing. So you're not a Hooters fan? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> the girls ain't dancing up on you at Hooters uh-huh. and, you know, busting it open. It's that's still different. showing a lot. Yeah. It's still showing a lot. Yeah, but that's so when you get in your plate of wings, you like looking like this. Yeah, that's fine. Of, but you're not looking at I the Listen, screen. if I had a party at my house, I'd have, have, have some they girls doing that. I wouldn't mind that. Mm-hmm. They yeah. They're not over here dropping it like it's hot or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They're just walking around. Yeah, they got a breast and a wing out, but it's out and it's not for you to grab. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the strip club, mm-hmm. it's for you to grab. They gonna rub it all up on you. That I don't, I don't want to be eating like that. That's so, would it be safe to say that the man that goes to the strip club is really not that into sports? Because if he's going to the strip club to watch the yeah, game, yeah. Because if you're going to watch the game, you want I want I want to see my team. Why you know why go to strip club and then, and you know this chick is right here dancing. And you're going to be paying attention to that. So would it be safe to say he's not? I think there's a very sports? small percentage of people yeah. that actually told that lie, so they yeah. go and watch the game and ended up going to the strip, to strip club. club. Like, well, because I mean, the game is going to be on at the strip club. I, like I said, I mean, to me personally, that's not really where I want to go to watch a game. I'm not even really a huge uh, fan of going to strip clubs like that. Like, they I even show yeah. the game at the strip club. No, they they will. They have they have like parties yeah. and stuff at the strip club. But you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm if I'm Watching the game, I'm not trying to be throwing dollars out at the same time either. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I already know I have I keep I have a two rules when I go to the strip club. I have a twenty dollar maximum <laughs> dollar amount that I throw out, and I don't make eye contact with none of the girls. Okay, <laughs> well, once, really? Because once you make eye t- contact, you got to spend money. If you don't make no eye contact, you good. All right. Other than that, I. I stay, I stay out of it. Yeah, I, don't, I, love you know, it. I don't care to be up in there like that. I want to go. I want to be comfortable when I'm watching the game. I want to be in my zone, in my recliner chair, with some wings, with, with some nachos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to feel like you know I'm going to Super Bowl party and when I leave, I'm gonna be 300 in the hole Ooh, because yeah, this girl, you know, tried to give me a lap dance while I was watching the touchdown. That's play. the part that's ruining relationships. Cause a lot of guys yes. do that, and like you said, you don't. It's a small percentage that tell that lie before they go out, but it's a large percentage that go out and do it and then just tell that lie when they come back home. They don't tell it before they mm-hmm. But I mean, that's real. I, I, that's, you that's... was in a strip club. You was talking to this girl. No, nah, I was just sitting there watching the game with my man's and them. You know the game came on tonight. Is well, that's, lot? first of all, let me, then, all right, now I got it, because now that you, now you say <laughs> now that, you, you got to know, you got to know who you're dealing with, Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, because you know the signs of somebody that's that's like that, you know, and if you don't, right. then you got to be more aware of, of who you're letting into into your life. Yeah. And whether it be a game or not, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it, if they got to yeah. say that they're going to yeah, work yeah, yeah. and play hooky, so that's just, if they got to say they're going to church I, I, I and not even going to their church, but going to her church and then going to whatever church after. But I said I was going to church when I went to church, so I did go to church. I didn't say I wasn't going to go to brunch, you know, after or before. <laughs> right. I said I was going to church, and that's why I went. Right. But I'm not doing I'm right. just saying in those kind of situations. Right. But let me, okay. let me be yeah. all the way honest. There is one sport that I love, and I'm thankful that my husband turned me on to it. I boxing. love boxing. So that brings us together. Like, we will be in there, like, acting crazy with clips See, going on. Good. We lose our mind. Uh-huh. But I'm going to tell you this, though, too. Now, don't, listen, I'm because I'm like Martin when the fight come on. Don't be jumping. Don't get crazy. I don't want to be bothered. When I'm watching the fight, I'm watching the fight. Mm-hmm. We got, like, because especially, I mean, yesterday we got the gloves up here, but we're, you know, we're big boxing fans. We are, we're affiliated with a boxing charity, Ring 10, uh, New York. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we got a lot of, like, we got the heavyweight champ of the world, you know, friends friends of the show and whatnot. So, so we, when we watching the fight, we want to watch the fight, too, though. But that's what I'm saying. I love it so much that so you into it. You're right. good with that. All right, yeah. So, so that's think, what I'm saying. That's I your can't, compromise, though. Right. I can't be... A hypocrite and say I don't like any. Yeah, That's one right. sport that he turned me on to, and I, I love it. Mm-hmm. I and totally love boxing. So I'm a boxing fan. All the moves, who's doing what, who's who. <laughs> yeah. I even like the one when they what is what is called when they doing it with their feet. The yes. kickboxing, uh, uh, the kickboxing. M- MMA. Yeah, the UFC. You, yeah, UFC. the UFC. Yeah, the UFC. They put you in all those moves. I'll be yeah. into it. Get him, get him off you. He yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like it. Like I got Bob and Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And that's what he said. He said, out of all the sports that I tried to introduce you to, you would take the boxing. Yeah. So, yeah, I love boxing. Okay, so how about the, the finance part of it? That, that could ruin relationship, too, because you guys gamble a lot. Not saying you or you, but you men get the, you know, they got to gamble on, yeah. Well, let me, let they me, let me. Host not, not, and I hear you. Well, well, that's the problem, not necessarily sports, yeah. but yeah, I mean, there are a lot of guys that gamble a lot. Yeah, they have the whole sheets in football season. 
You just talked about him getting one last year on the Super Bowl. We just talked about that before y'all came on. Oh, okay. Yeah, but what it's not that? excessive yeah. or anything. Like, I said I won last year on the Super Bowl. I nice. bet on the Super Bowl, but I'm not yeah. betting this year on the Super Bowl. Like, you know. But, yeah. So that could be a problem, anyway. too. It's the, 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 the Patriots, and, Patriots. And, the and the team that's never won the Super Bowl. The Eagles? In the history of football. Who's that? You like how I snuck that in there, Cliff? The Eagles. You my man, Cliff. You my man, though, Cliff. The Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles. Yeah, they flat off. Let me tell you, and when I tell you about this team, this team is is horrible because who throws snowballs at Santa Claus? The Eagles. (laughs) Eagles fans. That's why we we can't support that. (laughs) Cliff, you can't say nothing about that, Cliff. You can't. Listen. We sacrifice Big Bill. We're going to win this, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Tell me about the Cowboy fans, though. Aren't they kind of... The Cowgirls? No, um, no, the fans, the Cowboy fans. Aren't they kind of crazy, whatever? Because you always get into a debate with um, somebody that's a Cowboy fan. I mean, and they're, like, really into it more so, to me, more so than any other football fan. Well, that's because I think with, with Cowgirl fans, it's they, since, <laughs> since they're deemed no, America's team, but oh, they haven't like, actually won oh, in, like, 20 years. Oh, you saying Yo, his son. No, his son. What's up about the team that plays in the NFL? Yeah, his son. They play in the NFL. It's the Cowgirls. They play out there. They play in Dallas. But, yeah, so, you know, they have that you know, extra, like, chip on their shoulder because they're quote-unquote American team. But like I said, they haven't won in over 20 years. 20 years so I don't really yeah. understand wow. how you could still be, you know, have that much of a chip on your shoulder. But, I mean, I guess... Maybe you know about sports? A little bit. I'm like, you can't beat him, join him. So oh. I'm trying to exactly. get into it. Right. You yeah. gotta, yeah, you she gotta, knew. Listen, you got to be a part of it. If, if you know, and it's just, like, if, if there's something that, that we know that you guys like, you know, we, we'll we sacrifice and be like, ah, you know, I know my lady likes it. Or that's what, see, that's when y'all get the, you know, y'all might get that little extra, extra, extra bag. Done, mm. done my husband ain't coming to Brian or Brothers you show. Know, I'm walking around with me talking about no weaves and this I'm is gonna good. Tell you, I'm going to tell you eight, how. Eight, 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 nine, eight. 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 That's how, that's how you get that yeah, extra yeah. bag around <laughs> Christmas. Jesus is very you, supportive. You let your significant so. other enjoy his game. He's just, you know, baby, you all right? You need anything? Can I get you some, some drink, whatever? And then watch when that, when when his gift giving time come around. You know what? Baby, I love her. She doesn't. She doesn't make me happy all the time. Let me give her a little extra bag. Which, you wanted the oh, Gucci okay. one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I love it. you know I love that's, it. A, that's how you gotta do it. Okay. Yeah, you know, don't dance in front of the TV. Exactly. Yeah. Unless, you got, unless you got the giant cheerleading outfit on and it's just you and him. Don't mm-hmm. do it in a group of people because that's wrong. No. Yeah, but still, that's that's it. Right that's it. That's it. That. They get hardcore with that men saying that. Is it was it's just a saying. Don't don't bother them when the sports is on. I mean, I yeah. even go click off the TV just doing See, crazy. Now you're wrong. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm petty. I'm petty. Just say what it is. I'm petty. You know that's not gonna not gonna work out well. Yeah. I'm petty. That's why you like yeah. boxing because you like starting fights. Yeah. That's what <laughs> <your> <laughs> <job>. <laughs> but tell me, why why do you really like why? When sports are on, you really go do crazy Because it's just like too much. And I, when I get in my bag, I just walk past, dance in front of it for a long time. But if he watches something that. else, would you do So you're not, all right. No. You're not even doing like a sexy dance. Sports. You're just yes. doing like a crazy, crazy dance. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just stuff. As long as my <laughs> arms and legs are flailing thumb. where it obstructs the view, it's good. I like doing the running man in front of the TV. I like to know what he says about that. Right. Like, I just don't understand. Oh, he like, get out the way, get out the way. And I don't listen. And he tried to. Look yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right yeah. That's that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's wrong. And he is watching. Hey. I'm gonna tell, tell, tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you one thing. He's gonna we make love sure you. he has the game he on the phone at the same time. <laughs> yeah. You can watch it there exactly. while he still hears it while you do that. Then you'll yeah. tire out yeah. eventually. Y'all got loudspeakers? Um, we have uh, a yeah, hundred. A but I think a, a sound bar um, projection screen that comes down and then we have a 50 inch on the side. He is serious. Exactly. So then why would you do that? You're not right. For that. I know. If you know he's a well, hardcore sports fan. That's he does that because you can only block one of them at a yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that tall. You can't be on yeah, I see why he did that. Yeah, he's smart. He's smart. You know, shout out to you, man. <laughs> I know that. Listen, I feel your pain, bro. You know, I'm trying to help out. I don't know if what we said today helped you he out. He was so proud of me know? for being on this. He said, you don't know nothing that's going on, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> well, we're trying to give you some tips now. Now, listen, but you got to get the bag now. If she, if she leave you alone. You know, for the Super Bowl yes, and let if you I rock leave you out, alone. you're going to have to get the bag. You got to spring for the bag. I'm sorry. Spring man. for the bag. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Go watch Texas City alone. with her, right? Yeah. I will. Listen, I don't know if you're going to do that. I actually got him to do that. He know Mr. Uh, 
Big and Chris North, he know all of them. But you dancing. Valentine's Day is coming up. You know, if, you don't, if she leaves you alone on Valentine's Day, you don't get the bag, then, you know, you're on your own. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> we told you what yeah, right. I, I can't I condone you. anything else that you're doing, man. You got to take care of her Valentine's Day and show her, you know, that, you know, it's, it's, she's more important to you than the sports. But if she's still going <laughs> up, I and, love you know, it. She gotta give her a time while she can't. She can't have uh -oh, no extra out. gifts. No, no, none of that. No, because you doing stuff on purpose. I am and that, exactly, but that's wrong of you to to, to do that. I know it's so many other women that feel that way. I'm not I, the you, only I one. Know, I know it all. But I just don't understand why you do it. Because I feel that it's just too much sports in the household. So do he do that to you when your stuff come on? When sex mm -hmm. is to you and he be, uh... No, he not petty like that. Oh, it's just you. Yeah. Petty. Yeah, so you're course. not fair. Petty. So you're not being yeah, fair. Yeah, you can say that. I'm not being fair. So it's for, too much sports. Unfortunately, I have a strong bond because it sounds like you the reason that the relationship will get messed up and not the sports. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he, no, he loves you, okay? Because you over there, you messing up, okay? Because you just being spiteful, just for, for being spiteful sake. I am. At least I came on and admitted it. That you have a problem. That's the first step, right? Yeah. So how going home? I am how petty. are we going to work? How are you going to change yourself to stop doing the stuff that you're doing? Oh, now you're talking like you see like, this? Like, 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 this is an intervention. Yes. Now. now we have an intervention. I think we really solved it. She was going to stop for a while. I was going to stop for a little while. I'm going to stop for a little while so I can come back to report when we come back. So I can have progress because you know all talk shows like progress. She was like, I stopped and then I'm gonna revert right back. back. And then once I got the bag, bag, I went back to it. Um, just make some wings, make some nachos. Oh, I like the. Hold on, wait a minute. Now. Your marriage counsels now, Chris. You have to put that on the resume. <laughs> what? What? All right. So now, do y'all do y'all feel like you know that y'all want to help out with the Super Bowl party though? Are y'all gonna do y'all do y'all do y'all cook when y'all when y'all? Oh yeah, I get down. Oh y'all y'all. I like the food. I so yeah. the food is good. I haven't, I haven't done that in a, I haven't done it in a while, but I know what I like. But I like the inflatium. But what you were saying? I said I haven't done it in a while, but I like the whole thing about the Super Bowl parties and the and the boxing parties it's a camaraderie, and, yeah. and watching the All Star game together. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. You invite your friends over; mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah. The whole little festivities. See, mm -hmm. I, that's what I enjoy. Hey, I don't know what's like going that. on on the game. It looked like you give like yeah, like parties. Yeah, yeah. It's like about sneakers on the day. I yes. like sports. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Yo, ready to go. I, I like sports. So let me find out, y'all. Ag having a Super Bowl party? Uh, no, not Super Bowl. No, that's Super Bowl. <laughs> I was never into football, but I, I'm thinking heavy but you about. Still have the party. I'm thinking heavy about headed out um, to, um, West Coast for All Star. Oh, yeah. okay. Because you like basketball. But well, Super Bowl, like yeah. So ladies of war, we be headed we to. out there and real fans, real talk, going out to LA. It's in LA this year. Y'all gonna and do? Y'all gonna do? I already had the room, so let's go. In Charlotte yeah. next year. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. It's in Charlotte next year. Next year. I don't know. All right. So listen. So All Star Weekend, y'all. Y'all are down with All Star Weekend. All right. So we. So so we good. So y'all gonna calm it down a little bit. No more. You know. I'm gonna have still, a great report for you. Y'all still ladies of war, but no more war when it comes to to watching sports, which is significant others. All right. If they if they Only don't get carried away. Suits. Just exactly. Did you see? You know, <laughs> you, you, uh, you come back no next week, too. Okay, I'm going back. That was definitely yeah, some quality time. Yeah, exactly. No yeah. And that's the quality time right there. That's what you're going to get. So, are you guys going to Callahan, California? We need to. Awesome. We, might, we might need to for for, for All Star um, Weekend. I, mean, I told y'all the line yeah, LeBron sure, just definitely. picked earlier, so we, we might need to go out there and, uh, and, and see what's going on, Stab Man. We might have to do it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 watch watch the, the I game, got a question right? for you. Oh, no, we trying to watch the game. I, yeah, 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 I'm trying to watch you the game. Yeah. Real I'm trying to watch the game. But like, even uh, though the celebrity uh, game seems to be uh, more fun these days, so that's what I was just giving to ask mm -hmm. you guys. Do you think it's the same now? Absolutely not. Then it, the know, All Star game or the celebrity game? Basketball the the All Star basketball period. In, well, in, in, in a, you know, we, like we spoke about this uh, earlier as far as the All Star game because th there was an imbalance in the league as far as with the su there's more superstars in the Western Conference. So the last couple of years it's kind of been off, but they switched the format this year, which I think we kind of got back into where the two highest vote getters in the East and the West picked the t the, the teams. Mm -hmm. So it's not like now you don't have just everybody from Golden State and Houston on one team and, and then you got the, the East, which was the weaker conference. Now it's mm -hmm. just like you got everything is mixed up. So I think this year's game is probably going to... It's bringing something new to the mix. Yeah. We'll see how it, how it works out. But I mean, 
every year it seems like the score is like almost 200 to 180 yeah. or something like that. It's like there's, <laughs> there's, no, there's no defense, defense. and it's like, no I mean. But you want to see that. You want to see the Duncan and. 90s for me was the prime in, in basketball. So like, this, just, this is exactly yeah. what I'm Hollywood. saying. When, it's Hollywood now. When it's, it's, when it I, really is. It's they, like, yeah. Don't touch me. Oh, everything's a file. And, yeah. and when we interviewed Anthony Mason, we talked about if the league's wow. going soft. And, of course, he said yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean. You're talking about people who, who who their toe hurts and they're taking the day off. Right. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that. I saw that. Oh my God. I saw that interview with Anthony Mason. It was really a, a very good Thank interview. You. Thank As a matter of fact, that's how we know each other through his his son. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Ladies, a long time friend. Of happy Anthony birthday Mason. to uh, oh, to, to Mason as well. Yep. You know, happy yeah. birthday to Mason, Mason Jr. You know, we shout out to him on the IG, but you know it's always love. That's that's family right there, and we tell us all the time. You know, Big Mace, he, he invited us into his home, you know, to shoot that interview. So we always gonna have love for Big Mace, rest in peace, and again, happy birthday, Anthony Mason Jr. But uh, it is that time, ladies. We love y'all so much for coming on. We enjoyed it, so y'all definitely gonna have to come back. Thank you. Um, Thank you. But we do gotta get up out of here. So really quick, just give me your Instagrams really quick. Author uh, Isha J214 okay. on Instagram, Author Isha J on Facebook. Also, you got that NVD book. Glam okay. CEO, G L A M M C E O, Facebook and Instagram. Hair Lady of Brooklyn, all one word. Uh, Aurora, G is it Miss? I'm not even sure. Yeah, Miss, <laughs> Miss, Miss, <laughs> Miss Aurora GBK. All right. On Instagram. So there you have it. The, the and ladies. also, I just we dropped the plug. book. Sorry. Go ahead, plug me. it, plug it. I just dropped my <laughs> new book, Part 2, Envy That Brooklyn Chick, Part 2. Matter of fact, I'm a, I want to invite y'all to my book launch. It's going to be okay. at 718 Live on February 3rd. It's right. a book and lipstick launch. Right, well, we'll come for the book. I don't the lipstick must. We'll come read the book. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do the, the lipstick, but you know, I, you know, maybe we can tell ladies. ladies bring yeah, your lipstick. Give the, the, the you lipstick have a lady at home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So for myself, Trip Young, Mark the Statman, Scavage, the ladies of war. We will see you guys right back here next week. We up out of there. Thank you. Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the archives, even tell a neighbor, tell them about. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified cosign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out for real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk. Now, batting over the NBA. Number two, Derek Jeter. Number two.